All right, last time we were looking at graphing rational functions where there's one vertical asymptote and one horizontal asymptote. Uh, now I want to look at how we can change the, the function that will produce multiple vertical asymptotes. So if we look at uh, graphing y equals 6 over x minus 2 times x plus 3, we can once again look at the domain and range. Now first off, we look at the numerator, and we realize that the numerator is 6. And 6 is never going to be 0. And the only way to make a fraction equal to 0 is to have that numerator be 0. So since we have 6 on top, y is never, ever going to equal 0. That means our horizontal asymptote is going to happen at y equals 0. Now when it comes to the domain, we need to worry about the denominator now. So we know with, uh, with all rational functions, we can't let the denominator x minus 2 plus x3 x plus 3 equals 0. We never want it to equal 0. So that means that x can't equal 2 and x can't equal negative 3. And that's how we're going to get our vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes are going to be the lines x equals 2 and x equals negative 3. So let's real quickly plot those asymptotes so we can start getting an idea of what our graph will look like. Horizontally our asymptote is y equals 0 which is just the x-axis. And then the vertical asymptotes happen at x equals 2, which is right here, and x equals negative 3, over here. So let me put some numbers there. Negative 3, 0, oh, not 0, but 2. Right. Also, last time, when we just had one vertical asymptote, we picked a couple points to the left of that and a couple points to the right to that to get an idea of what the graph will look like. We're going to have to go about it kind of the same way where we, we need to plot some points, but we don't need quite as many. This time, let's just plot one point on each interval. So what I'm saying is, how do we graph when we don't know how to graph? Well, we need to make a table. And when we pick x values, I'm going to want them on each of these intervals. Like, I'm going to want a point that's less than negative 3, like negative 4. And I'm going to want a point that's in between negative 3 and 2, like 0. And I also need a point that's bigger than 2, like 3. So, let's uh, scroll down and show our work down here. So first what we're going to want to do is plug negative 4 into our function. So, negative 4 minus 2 and negative 4 plus 3. So over here we'll get 6. 6 stays in the numerator and then down in the denominator we'll have negative 6 times negative 1. 6 over positive 6 equals 1. And so that's our y value right there. Let's keep going with 0. y is going to equal 6 over 0 minus 2, which is negative 2, and 0 plus 3, which is positive 3. So we end up with 6 over negative 6, which is negative 1. That's what goes with 0. And then let's do the same thing with 3. y equals 6 over, that's a 6, over uh, 3 minus 2 times 3 plus 3. So I'll give us 6 over 1 times 6, which is obviously 1. All right. And there we have three ordered pair. And I fill them in on my table so that we can start plotting these points. And when we plot the points, we get negative 4, 1, which is right here, 0, negative 1, right here, and 3, positive 1. Right there. And really that's all we need because now we know that as far as the shape of our graph goes, on each of these intervals, our curve has to go through this point. But then beyond that, it needs to start getting closer to our asymptote. This way and this way. It's not going to cross it. It's just going to get closer to it. Same thing in the middle. We're going to try and get closer to this asymptote and this asymptote. We're not going to try and cross them. And we're not going to try and cross that horizontal one either. And then lastly, on the third interval, make our curve try and get close to those asymptotes. And that's how we're going to graph when we have multiple vertical asymptotes. So, in this example, uh, what we have is the denominator isn't factored. And that's really the only thing. So we need to factor the denominator in order to be able to find the multiple vertical asymptotes that we need. So when we start thinking about asymptotes, now that we have the function all factored out, we still have our horizontal asymptote at y equals 0 because in the numerator it's 2 
So y is never going to equal 0, which means our asymptote has to be y equals 0. And the vertical asymptotes happen when the denominator equals 0. So that's going to happen when x plus 2 equals 0 and when x minus 2 oops, equals 0. So our two vertical asymptotes are x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 2. So go ahead and graph them. That's going to happen at y equals 0, y equals positive 2, and y equals negative 2. And those are our asymptotes. Now, in order to finish up the graph, we need to plot a few points. So pick one on each interval. Remember, this is at negative 2, and this one's at positive 2. So we want to pick a number that's smaller than negative 2, like negative 3. One that's in between negative 2 and positive 2, like 0, and one that's bigger than 2 like 3. I'm going to scroll down and let's show our work down below. So let's just plug away at it. First off, uh, take that negative 3 and put it in the equation. So negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 minus 2, and that will give us 2 over negative 1 times negative 5, which is 2 fifths. Not exactly a nice number, but it'll work. Then we plug in 0, so y over 2 times 0 plus 2 and 0 minus 2. That'll give us uh, 2 over 2 times negative 2, which is negative 1 half. And finish it up with 3. y equals 2 over 3 plus 2 and 3 minus 2, which will give us 2 over 5 times 1, which is 2 fifths again. Okay. So let's use those ordered pairs and graph them on our coordinate system. Negative 3, 2 fifths is about right here, less than a half. 0, negative 1 half is down below. And 3, 2 fifths is less than a half right over here. We only need one point on each interval. Now make your curve. Go through them points, but get close to both asymptotes. So go through, get over to that asymptote and over to that one. Don't cross them, just get closer to them. And there we have our nice uh, rational functions when we have more than one vertical asymptote.